Crafts in the Park, brought to you virtually from Florence Peterson Park. My name is Jasmine and I am the Summer Program Coordinator at the Whistler Museum. We bring you Crafts in the Park in partnership with the Whistler Public Library. Each week we will be posting a craft video that includes some insight into Whistler's history. A list of craft supplies will be posted before each video. You can also register with the library to receive a craft package with all of the supplies you'll need for each week. Thank you for joining us today for this week's craft, where we'll be making horses. Before we begin, the Whistler Museum would like to share some history about how horses came to Whistler. Horses were used by the first explorers who journeyed into the valley in 1958 and later used to help clear the way for Whistler's first settlers. They helped build the first lodges in Whistler, such as Rainbow Lodge, in 1914. Horses were used to clear the lands and trails, move timber used to build houses, and also very important in getting from one place to another. It would take three days to get from Vancouver to Whistler back then, and two of those days were spent hiking. Horses were used to carry the hikers' things. Myrtle Phillip, one of the first settlers in Whistler, said she owed a lot to the animals for their help in building and maintaining Rainbow Lodge. She owned many workhorses that helped her and named all of them Bob. When Rainbow Lodge started gaining more attention and visitors, horses were used for guest activities like midnight horse rides, racetrack races, and gentle rides through the valley trails throughout the summer. During winter, they would tow skiers and skaters across the frozen lake. In the past, horses were very important from taking the journey to Whistler to helping entertain guests. And though they don't serve the same purposes today, Whistler would not be the same without them. Now let's move on and make our horses. Start by coloring in your horse with any color you'd like. If you are using your own supplies, use a hole punch to make holes for the mane and tail. Next, cut out the horse and glue down the googly eyes. You can use buttons, sequins, or dry your own eyes if you don't have any. Next, wrap the yarn around your hand and cut it at the length you want. Twist the loops of wool to fit through the holes. Tie the wool and cut the loops. Repeat for the mane as well. Place the clothes pins on the bottom of the horse's body as its legs. And you're done! Thank you for joining us this week for Crafts from the Park. We will be making trains out of toilet paper rolls next week, so now is the time to start saving them.